Hey, Fight Fans, it's SoCal Val back with another exclusive interview for Cage Fighter Worlds Collide. And this might be my personal favorite interview thus far because it's ladies' time. I am joined by Georgia Bradner, who's in the film. Hi, Georgia, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well. I was so excited to hear that we had uh, a female interview because I've been interviewing um, Alex, the director, Jesse, Jay Riso, and I'm so glad that you took the time to talk to us today. First of all, um, tell us how you're doing in lockdown and, and where you are. Um, I'm based in Vancouver. I have really been enjoying lockdown. I'm a really busy bee, so I'm usually, I work like seven days a week. I don't really sleep, so I've been catching up on my sleep. It's gotten really sunny lately, so I've been hitting up the sun a bit while staying inside. That's how you do it. Safe yeah. and sunny. I love it. Now, uh, for our fans on Fight TV um, who are so excited to meet you, can you give us a little bit about your background and maybe how you got involved with acting and how you got involved in the Cage Fighter film? Yeah, so I play Ellie in the film. I am Alex Reese's love interest. Oh. Um, I've been acting since I was in high school. I took a theater program in university and then I've just been doing the audition game here in Vancouver for four years. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I, I looked, of course, I, I internet stalked you as you do. You know, we all do that as girls. And I, I noticed you have a really cool uh, resume of shows you've already done. Can you talk about, a little bit about your past projects and how fun they were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, my first, Cage Fighter is actually my first big feature, which I'm really excited about. Um, in Vancouver, we have a lot of, I call them TV movies, so a lot of Hallmark, a lot of Lifetime. I would say that my most fun role I've done so far is on Supernatural. I got to be alongside my friend, Maddie Hillis, so it wasn't really acting. Um, yeah, I'm really good at playing the typical party girl, so I'm really excited that this is my first nice, real, serious role. We're so excited to see it. May 16th, guys, you're going to want to watch this more than once. It is a 24 hour rental on Fight TV. So, in that 24 hours, you can rewatch the film, and we know you're going to want to. Uh, you're need to. You need to go to fight.tv or check the app to figure out what the pricing and start time is in your country because on May 16th, we're all going to be sitting down to watch this one. Now, Georgia, you mentioned that you're playing Reese's wife in the film. We actually spoke to Alex about his role as Reese, and he's such a cool guy. We got a lot of insight into his character. Um, can you tell us what, what Ellie is like and maybe how she factors in into his journey to become a champion? Yeah, Ellie is a very strong character. She, um, when talking to Jesse, we really collaborated both when creating her as a character. Um, she's just a strong female character. She's really Reese's support system. Mm -hmm. So when considering her in, in the fighting world, I chose to make her not so much like a fight like obsessed, like obsessed with fighting, but more so Reese's, Reese's backbone. I love that. Good description. Yeah, we spoke to Jesse as well, and he was so much fun to talk to. If you guys have not seen all of the exclusive interviews here on Fight, we highly encourage that you do. But I love, uh, Georgia, that you mentioned strong female characters, because we've seen little snippets, little clips of Gina Gershon as this really strong character in the film. And she seems like a force to be reckoned with. So I have to ask, were you excited to see some female badassery at the forefront of the film? No, there's Gina, and then there's also another Canadian actor, her name's Brenna, and she plays Gina's character, her name's Max, so she plays her assistant. So there's the three of us in the film, and I really like it because I feel like my view before I did this movie of fighting was just such a man, I hate to say it, but kind of like man dominated, it's just oh, yeah. that all the time fighting. So it was nice to have the strong female characters come in and not just be in some movies where you have almost victims mm -hmm. as the girls, but having them be powerful and having them make a, make a change. Absolutely. Hell yeah, that's going to appeal to our, our female audience, myself included. But my next question was about um, the worlds of pro wrestling and MMA. So what's cool about this film, all of our fans on Fight TV love combat sports. Obviously, that's why they're here. And, yeah. you know, the worlds of pro wrestling and MMA colliding. I have to ask if you watched pro wrestling or MMA uh, when you were younger or now, or are you a fan of, of either sport? Um, I'm actually, before this project, I had like, known about it, but I never really ever watched it so it was really fun I um was talking to Jesse when I booked the role 
and he was really helpful. He sent me so many links. He actually sent me links into like fight wives lives mm -hmm. as well as Alex was super helpful. And he was sending me fights that he had been in. So before the movie even started, I was able to watch Alex fighting as Alex rather than Reese. That's really cool. Yeah. He, yeah. he seemed like a really nice guy and obviously a really impressive MMA career before the film. But speaking of impressive, this cast, um, when I was first told about it and I started to look it up and, and do some research and get excited for it. I mean, all of these names I know, we mentioned Gina Gershon, but also Chuck Liddell, uh, pro wrestling's John Moxley, Jay Riso. What was the cast like? What were your experiences with them? Um, Chuck is my favorite. Chuck is, <laughs> Chuck is the sweetest man in the world. Um, I was, it was funny when I was telling my friends that I was like working on this project and they're like, oh, cool. Who's in it? I was like, oh, Chuck Liddell. And they're like, oh, the Iceman. Um, so that was really cool. Um, working with Alex was amazing. He's such a gentle giant. And I had this, not that I think that fighters are just like these tough guys, but I guess I had a bit of a stereotype in my head and it was just really sweet to see the fighters not fighting and they're like softer sides. Yeah, there, it is sort of a weird, sometimes misconception, I think, with these guys who are larger than life and then you meet them. I always find that kind of the bigger physically they are and the scarier, the, the more of a gentle giant and teddy bears. Yeah, and that's that exactly why I feel like people that watch the movie, they'll see Reese. And Reese is the, t the beginning of the movie starts and it's him fighting and he's just like this tough guy. And then Reese and Ellie actually have a baby together. So you really see him and he's just like the nicest, sweetest. He's like a big like a lovely, big, sweet dog. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, we described you as a dog. I hope that's cool. <laughs> I totally get what you mean, though, yeah. But I'm, I'm going to ask, since it's just us girls here, I figure I'll ask a controversial question that I asked yeah, you, though, as well. So we might as well get into it. So being on the wrestling side of things and then kind of getting into more of the MMA side, I always kind of wonder, like, are the MMA guys and the wrestlers sort of, is there any tension there? Is it more like, our sports better, our sports more tough, blah, blah, blah. Did you see any or hear of any kind of like... Well, on set? Yeah, or fighter versus wrestler, even in social media with the fans. Yeah, not so much, which was, I think it's pretty nice. I feel like obviously people that are like more into MMA than wrestling, they have like, this is us, this is us. Right. But I feel like the... People are, people I feel like have just been like really eager to see like what it's going to be like. Yeah, I agree. And, and all of our social media fans on Fight TV, which hopefully you're following us at Fight TV on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, um, they've been, you know, really um, accepting of, oh my gosh, I'm a wrestling fan, but I love MMA or, or now I'm getting into it. So even just the trailer for this film, I think has got people really excited. But were mm -hmm. there any, any fun moments like goofing around on set? Who was, who was a prankster on set or who was the most fun? Um, the most fun, um, uh, it sounds like I'm raving about Alex here, but, um, a lot of my scenes were with Alex and Alex and I met the day, it was obviously filming, like a lot of the time you meet someone and then you like just jump into these crazy scenes, but I flew to Regina where we were shooting and I met Alex and then the next day we were like jumping straight into like our meaty beefy scenes. <laughs> So it was cool because we had to meet and then the next day just be like this madly in love couple. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm going to get this question from all of our social media fans. How do you prepare for something like that when it's somebody that you're not, you know, you don't know that well? I mean, have you, have you had sort of like relationships on film before in some of your past roles? How did you do with that? Um, this is my first role where I have had like, just have had like that kind of relationship. I um, do train a lot. I'm in a scene study class regularly. So in my scene studies, we study plays. And with those characters, I get to like dive into those relationships. So I find through that practice, I can link on to, it's like seeing the other actor, you see them as the character. Mm -hmm. And I like to like link on to like one thing that like attracts me to that person. And I'm like, oh, this guy's really funny. And then I can like dive into that. Um, I do feel like one of my talents as an actor is I'm really charming and I'm really funny so I find that I can create chemistry with anybody <laughs> See, when I was asking who was the funniest on set I was about to tell you like if it was you you can totally say that you can <laughs> you know what? I actually have to say it probably was 
<laughs> Let's change the answer to you. <laughs> well, we're excited that um, not only is this going to be a, a rental for all of our uh, Fight TV fans available uh, everywhere, excluding the U.S. and the Caribbean. So again, check Fight.TV and of course the app for pricing and the timing. But what people are, I think, really going to sink their teeth into is after the film, there's going to be a roundtable discussion directly after the film. It's included in the price, and it's going to give our fight fans a sort of behind-the-scenes feel of how Cage Fighter Worlds Collide came about collectively. Can you tell the, uh, the fans what they can um, expect in the Q&A? Um, I don't think, actually, that I'm part of the Q&A. Maybe uh, you have to do your own on Twitter. I think I should host it. I think you guys can follow me on Instagram at Curious Georgia. Two A's like the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name, by the way. I followed you, but that's hilarious. Well, I wanted the original, but I didn't get it. But it's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think that it's, I think it's cool. I think it's, ma it's mainly most of, I think Alex is doing it. Mm -hmm. I think John, Chuck. I think it's most of the main fighters that are in it that are doing it. And I think that with fight, the Fight Network and having the Fight fans, that they'll love to see the behind the, I think they're going to be talking a lot about like behind the scenes and making the fights, like how it was making the fights on camera. Yeah. And I have to ask too, like, was it brutal to watch in, in person, especially when you oh, get to know these people? No, no, no. It was crazy. Like I'd never seen, i have like seen videos going into it that I'd, that I'd been sent. And then they built like the whole cage and we were there and I was like watching and it was crazy and it's also really crazy because I've done movies where they're doing just like stunts and it's someone like oh I'm pretending to do this but because they're so real it was very it really helped me for Ellie and being real in watching. Fantastic well I was going to ask for any final questions uh, uh, for, or any final thoughts for your fans but it looks like you're interactive on social media so you've given us your Instagram handle is it cool if the fight fans uh, who should be following cage fighter movie also maybe they can send you some questions yes they can for sure yeah I've posted quite a bit so you can scroll down my feed and you'll find some juicy little pictures <laughs> I love that I love a little bit of behind the scenes exclusive that's what we're all here about on fight TV well Georgia thank you so much uh I wish you a very happy rest of the lockdown hopefully it doesn't last too long but we will see you on the big screen on May 16th are you excited I'm very excited my birthday is on the 12th so it's a nice little birthday present for me Fantastic. Well, happy early birthday, and we can't wait to see you on screen for Cage Fighter Worlds Collide May 16th. Guys, this is a one-day only screening, so you don't want to miss it. And right now, we're going to give you a little sneak peek at an exclusive trailer. Check this out. Ooh. Don't miss Cage Fighter Worlds Collide live on Fight TV May 16th for one day only. This is a 24-hour rental that you don't want to miss. It's available worldwide, excluding the U.S. and Caribbean. For pricing and start times in your country, visit fight.tv or the Fight TV app. And now, here's the official trailer for Cage Fighter Worlds Collide. The Legends Cage is reserved for the very best fighters on the planet, and Reese Gibbons is the best of the best. The five-time champion has faced all challenges and cleared out his division. But his sixth title defense presents a new challenge. Wrestling champion, Randy Stone. For a world champion, I don't think he's ever been hit by a guy like me. It's gonna be like getting hit by a truck. Randy is an opponent, he's a clown. Randy is the most divisive figure to ever step foot in the legend's cage, splitting the world of MMA and professional wrestling right down the middle. All eyes will be on this fight. And one thing is for sure, the world of professional wrestling and the world of MMA will collide.